Thank you for coming. I know it's really, really early, so I'm going to make it short and sweet. I see some familiar faces. I've been harassing people constantly to come this morning, so thank you for coming. My name is Victoire Cogevina. I'm 27 years old, and I am the CEO and founder of Silicon Soccer. So I'm a racing fan. Uh, my brother made me one when I was about six or seven years old, and he took me to the stadium, to La Popular. I don't know if you guys know what La Popular is, but it's where the hooligans go. It's very, very intense. There's a lot of passion in there. And I was this young little girl. There's a picture, I think, somewhere. Very blonde, very curly hair. And it's there in that stadium that I learned what soccer really means. In 2015, I was approached by my mother, who is over here, with a crazy idea. If you knew my mother, you know that she has many of those. <laughs> she was tired of the way the soccer industry was working. She thought players were being treated unfairly and that corruption was taking over. So she told me, why don't we partner together and we build a player representation agency? We bring Latin American players to the MLS, probably the most coveted talent in the world, and it was needed here in this country. SR All Stars was born here in Miami, of all places, so I feel very much at home, and I hope all of you do too. And its mission was to create the first corporate structure around Latin American players. When we decided to take this huge challenge, we took a very public stance. We said no illicit business. We said no briberies. We said only transparency. And it was, people thought that we were completely crazy, but we did it, and I'm very proud that we did. As SR Stars grew, and our anti-corruption ethos began to spread and gain traction, a lot of amateur and semi-pro players were calling us to get representation. And what happened is that the agency was only servicing professional players, so we couldn't really help them. But I made it my point to talk to these people so I could learn a bit of what they needed. And all I could hear, all I could hear was that they didn't have access, they didn't have opportunities. In Argentina, if you weren't well connected or you weren't working with an with a, um, agent at the age of 12 or 13, which you're not supposed to, they weren't getting access to the clubs. It was just not happening. And in the US, the problem was even bigger. If you didn't have money, if your parents didn't have money, it was impossible for you to play soccer in this country. It costs about $20,000 a year, and I know most of you know this number because it's scary, to play soccer. And I come from a country where that doesn't happen. Silicon soccer, would not only service players and provide them visibility through technology, but it would also help clubs, FAs, and associations to save money and to save time when trying to find amateur talent. And the solution was Gloria. Gloria by Silicon Soccer, a technology, very simple technology, where players from all around the world, from any background, from any age, are able to upload their video. And on the other side of these platforms, there's club FAs and leagues that are ready to use this as a SaaS product, as a technological tool, as a professional tool to find players, to filter their needs, and to categorize them. Now we had a problem, we had a solution, but we didn't know where to build the solution, right? We knew there was a lot of corruption inherent to this sector of in this industry. So I started posing myself with my team a lot of questions, right? How could we build a legitimate piece of technology our stakeholders could trust? How could we shine a light onto the one of the darkest corners of the industry and find the most powerful allies in doing so? Where could we build a business with a massive vision and a massive mission? How could we release a solution to the market that would, that would create enormous profit without the corruption? And Silicon Valley was the answer. The epicenter of technology and innovation. The home of Apple, Facebook, Uber, and so many other companies that changed the world as we know it. 
soccer as a vehicle for social change, technology as a funnel, and the combination of both as a powerful solution to a painful problem. Today, I'm very proud to say that Gloria has found its home in Silicon Valley and has been acquired by a local holding. We have also signed pre-agreements with leagues, FAs, and clubs in Latin America, Europe, and the United States. Our purpose is to remove bias from the soccer talent in the identification process by leveraging technology. Our vision is to detect talent through video AI engineering, not only by measuring technical abilities of the players, but also their character traits. We don't want to replace humans by no means. Scouters all around the world do their job and they need to keep doing it. We just want to automatize and make it faster and easier for them. And at the same time, provide visibility to kids all over the world. First of all, thank you to all the people that believed in this mission. I know some of you are sitting in this room today and we wouldn't be here without you. Thank you to the FAs, to the clubs and leagues that already believe in Gloria. Thank you for adopting the technology and thank you for walk walking this journey with us. To everyone else in this room that believes that you can join us in some kind of way, please reach out, spread the world, and walk this journey with me. Thank you very much.